Well, hello, all of you beautiful people out there in Minecraft land. How are you today? <laughs> I am fantastic. Thanks so much for asking. My name is Vid and welcome back to another... Hey, glow skit. Glow squid. Look, down there behind my ore. A very exciting episode on the Igniter SMP server. Man, I'm just trying to decide whether I should go down and get that glow squid or not. Yeah, I probably will. So I was just headed over to the gunpowder farm and I happen to notice a little blue block down there. And uh, I actually took a quick peek at it and decided, man, I better fly away and start recording and come back because this is too cool to not record. For vidmc from Onyx, thank you for the gunpowder. Subscribe to vidmc. Look, he left me a lapis block. That is the most amazing thing. And uh, and this this ugly piece of black. No, he left me netherite. Like, dude, Onyx, that's too much, man. That that is so cool. Thank you, thank you, man. That is, uh, yes, I got it. I have netherite. Oh my god. <laughs> now I need to figure out. Uh, exactly what uh what piece of gear or what armor piece i'm gonna put this thing on i don't even know um uh, pay no attention to my random inventory <laughs> i was working on another project that you'll see later um can't put it on the wings but i might be able to put it on my hat or my pants uh or my boots probably i think the thing that i'm gonna use absolutely more than anything else in the game is gonna be this uh silky smooth pick so probably that's the thing i'm gonna put it on so uh again onyx thank you man that was like way too kind of you you're a cool dude man <laughs> and as promised we're gonna leave this little chest here for killer cat along with thanks for the soul sand vidmc and here is his gunpowder delivered. I have a feeling he's going to use that for his new potion brewing. Uh, that's his potion brewing machine over there. And he has a new potion shop. You can just see poking out right over there. So hopefully that comes in handy for him. I logged onto the server today to find this gentleman. A fisherman wandering randomly through my village. And it occurred to me, fishermen only appear... If you have a barrel around, and I'm like, I know I don't have any barrels because I don't use them. And then I spotted that barrel right there. And I was like, what is this for vid MC? And check this out. That's right. It's an elytra and a couple shulker shells just to back up from Onyx. He also gave me a whole bunch of gold. This was, uh, I think, because I uh, I lent him my elytra when he went uh, and had to go back to the end and get his. So, dude, that is awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Always great to have a backup elytra. And here I am, landing at spawn. <laughs> because Onyx is loading me up with shulker boxes. Check this out. I agreed to pay him two diamond blocks for nine shulker boxes. So that's two diamonds per box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome. And here is your two diamond blocks, sir. Do, 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 do. I am so very excited about that. Do, 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 do. Goodbye. So I guess it's about time I address this thing right here. You might have noticed it in the background of some of the previous shots because I've been working on it for quite a while. As you can see, this is a villager trading hall. And uh, yeah, I've got a few villagers loaded in. I've still got a lot more villagers to load into it, but I thought I would take this opportunity to show you exactly how I'm loading villagers into this thing. So you can see that there's a rail track that runs along behind these villagers. And I have this activator rail turned on right now because there's a lever behind this block right here, which is powering the block, powering the rail. And I'm going to get a villager in this spot right here. And the way I'm going to do that is by running all the way down this track. This villager right here is the candidate. And so I'm just going to plop a minecart down and I'm going to break his workstation. And then villagers will only get in minecarts, by the way, if the minecart is moving. So I'll give it a bit of a nudge. There it is. And he hops in. And now I can break this out because he's not going anywhere. So bridge 
the rails. And then if I've done this right, I should just be able to sort of give him a few nudges until he hits those powered rails. And zip, there he goes. And then he should be popped off perfectly right into place. And there he is right there, all ready to accept his new job. Now there's one more trick you've got to do here. Because I have a bunch of other villagers in the area, if I just place a workstation down here, somebody else might try to grab it. So what I'm doing is this. I just kind of block this off a little bit with dirt. I'm going to get in here with them, seal myself in. Now there's no path from any other villager to this spot right here. I'll just block his line of sight so he can't escape while I place the workstation down. And then quickly place that, break that, and then you can see the green particles so he has actually accepted this workstation. And there it is. Just like that. Now I can break this dirt, all of this, and I'm ready to do the whole process again for the next guy. So I heard there's a brand new shop in the shopping district, and there it is. Wow. Take a look at this thing. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, so let's see. There's a sign out front. Oops. Apparently the, the front door needs a little bit of work. Uh, welcome to the Shulker. Ladder on right side. I think that's supposed to be on right side if you need. Uh, yes, I need. Apparently, I should have... Uh, <laughs> I should have actually flown in. But look at this place. Wow. So we got Elytra. We got... What's the price? 15 diamonds. Holy moly. That's it? That is cheap. Two diamonds for Shulker boxes. Nice, nice. Oh, look, somebody's already buying shulkers. And what do we got here? One diamond for any, any, holy moly. Look at, wow. Efficiency three, silk touch, unbreaking. This, wow. Yeah, this is, holy moly. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Unbelievable. I wonder, let's see, what should I buy? I, I gotta buy something. I gotta show my support here, so. Um, I don't, I don't really need any tools or armor or stuff like that. Uh, I can always use more shulker boxes and elytra. Well, I just got a spare set of elytra. So I have, I now have two, the one I'm wearing and another one. So maybe I should just get another shulker box. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's get two diamonds, grab another shulker and we are all set. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. Well done. Time for another progress update. As you can see, I've stripped away this little farm that I had growing over here, and that is because I replaced it with, let's see if I can get over here, do, 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 behind me, this farm. Well, pair of farms. You might recognize this design. This is uh, actually obviously not working at the moment. I can see some floating potatoes right there. But this is supposed to be um, an automatic Carrot and potato farm. Uh, those villagers up there, well, there's actually a villager in both cells. The, this guy is, is doing a great job. He's talking to this other villager. He's throwing carrots at him. I'm getting carrots left, right, and center. In fact, if I stand here for 30 seconds, I'll probably end up seeing him throw some carrots because he's just, he's crazy about it. He just loves throwing carrots, this other guy. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to stand here and wait. But look, look at this chest. Carrots. Carrots like crazy. Supposed to be potatoes in here too. But uh, yeah, the, the, the potato guy, he, he, needs some, he needs some work. He might need some re-education. But that's not why I called you back to the land of the, uh, of the villagers. Because check this out. Here's my, uh, my little double layered thing. I got all of my villagers moved over from the village. And uh, yeah, you might hear that as well. I got, a, I got a zombie trap down there. But that is not all. See, if you check my inventory, I have those 12 blocks of gold. 22. I can't count. 22 blocks of gold, which I received from Onyx earlier today. And if you check this out, I also have three splash potions of weakness that I got from Killer Cat's potion shop earlier today. And I have apples, so I need to make some golden apples. All right, let's start by turning all of this gold into gold in uh, ingots, and then we will craft as many golden apples as we can. There you go, 19 golden apples. I thought I might actually get an achievement for crafting golden apples, but apparently not. That's okay. So back up here now, we need to flick the magic levers. I haven't actually tried this yet, so I hope 
it actually works. So let's see. One magic lever. This guy's gonna get murdered, right? And then let's do this one too. Two magic levers. Three magic levers. Let's do all four. I mean six. Five and six. All of those guys. Oh, okay. I heard one guy convert. Yeah, I just gotta stay out of the line of sight of the zombie. All right, I just heard the last guy convert. They are making all kinds of noise. Let's switch them all back up. Boom. Six zombie villagers all ready to be cured. Man, that is a lot of noise. Yeah, let's just get the volume way down on those guys. Okay, here we go. So let's get splash potions of weakness and golden apples. I think I can do these guys three at a time if it's like every other setup I've ever done. So let's go splash and then one, two, three. And then over here, splash and one, two, three. There we go. Now all we gotta do is sit back and wait for these guys to cure. And there it is, the zombie doctor achievement. That's pretty awesome. Uh, only one of the six villagers is cured at the moment, but that only took about like, uh, I don't know, two minutes or so. But uh, this, this is an issue because uh, I've got a bunch of these other uh, villagers wandering around. And as soon as these guys became zombies, um, that actually freed up the, uh, the workstations and then these other guys uh, claim them. So now I gotta figure out how to, how to get them to unclaim those workstations so that these guys can take them again. <laughs> and one more, and then I'm gonna get some super good trades. Let me check this guy. There it is, that's what I really wanted. The golden carrot trade and also uh, the, well, the melon trade is really low, which is good. Um, pumpkin trade at one. Nice. All these guys are cured now. This guy should also have pumpkin and melon trades at one. Pumpkin and melon trades at one. Pumpkin and melon trades at one. And this guy, yeah, this guy lost his workstation. So we'll fix this guy and then we'll come back. So it seems that my experiment is a fantastic success. I'm now stocking gold and carrots at the, uh, the old iron and more shop. So if you need golden carrots, come on down. They are two stacks. No, one stack. One stack for two diamonds. That's what it is. And I need to visit Killer Cat's uh, potion shop because I need to purchase some more potions. Let's see, where's the door to this place? Right there. Place payment here. One diamond per three potions. Wow, he's got a lot. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, that's five diamonds, six diamonds, and I'm out of inventory space. So I'm just gonna give him six diamonds. Is that, that's six diamonds, right? Six diamonds, perfect. I think he's still got free potions over here too, but uh, I always, already took my free ones. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm just gonna pay because I think that's, uh, I think that's the better thing to do. And I've just come back here to grab my shulker box and I see that Onyx is, uh, Already purchasing golden carrots just like he wanted to. Just add those to my diamond collection. Right in there and away we go. I did a thing. This is the new official shopping district portal and it says official portal lighting ceremony coming soon. And I have at least a few people here. <laughs> So, I would like to welcome everybody to the official portal lighting ceremony. Is everybody ready for me to light the portal? Okay, here we go. Let's get rid of this sign. Let's get rid of this sign. And... Lit! Ta-da! Woohoo! <laughs> Very exciting! Let's see where it takes us! Here we go, my first time into the nether. <laughs> this is probably an existing portal. <laughs> Thanks everyone, ceremony over. <laughs> I did actually stick around the nether for a few minutes and make the portal look pretty. Let's see if I can do this without accidentally falling into the nether. And yeah, Skeleton Craft says, what's the plan? 
I, I don't know what he's talking about. The plan is for me to show off this beautiful portal that I created, uh, which basically is just the other side of the shopping district. I'm over here in the Shulker, which is Onyx's shop, and he has a little book right down here. And I just wanted to pop open this book and take a look. Looks like he needs some help. Looks like he needs stacks of stone placed in the chest. And uh, people are going to get one shulker box if they give him five stacks of stone. So I think I can help with that. Let's hit that time lapse. of time lapse it's actually the next day and there is a nice new sign here at spawn saying that there is a new cobblestone and stone generator and you can kind of just see it over my head let's go check it out and here's the new cobblestone generator and killer cat is here to check it out as well and he has just flipped the lever and you can see that uh this wall is just growing to infinity and so you have to mine it as fast as you can, otherwise it will just keep growing. Or you can turn it off too. <laughs> that works. But the whole point is, uh, you can get stone or cobblestone from this. It generates stone, and obviously if you mine stone with a silk touch pickaxe, you're going to get stone back. And if you're going to mine it with a fortune pickaxe or anything that's non-silk touch, I guess, you'll get cobblestone. Uh, since Onyx needs stone, I think this is the best way to get it for him. So just after I finished building my cobblestone and stone generator, Onyx showed up. And so I thought I'd give him a little bit of a demonstration as to how it works. And he seemed to like it quite a bit. So hopefully this works out for him and hopefully uh, people get him lots and lots of stone. Just came over to my shop to check the profits again. And holy moly. Uh, okay, I guess someone has been on a shopping spree because uh, yeah. A lot of my stuff is sold out right now. Um, <laughs> all of my gunpowder sold. Uh, yeah, three chests worth of gunpowder is sold. Uh, plus, all of my rockets have sold. It's been a good day. So here I am over at Onyx's base. He told me to meet him at minus 316, 1005. And I'm here. Ah, and there's a giant square here. Oh wait, come down to, okay, now I've got to go down a little bit. So it's this way. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Check this out. What is going on here? This is a great big thing you got going on here, Onyx. He can't hear me. I'm just talking to myself, but I'm here actually to make the biggest deal of my life. Thunk, right there. Check that out. He asked me to grind for lanterns, and uh, he told me he'd need them in about a week. And guess what? <laughs> I got them. <laughs> I told him I was going to have to grind with my villagers for these uh, lanterns, but then I realized that I could just make a bunch of coal, and then make torches, and then use iron nuggets to craft lanterns. It actually took me all of about uh, 15 minutes to craft all these. <laughs> so the deal we had was I give him a box of, actually it was 24 stacks, but I ended up making 27 uh, for 48 diamonds. And uh, I'm wondering if he can actually do that. Oh, okay. He, well, yeah, he just threw me all of the diamonds. Sweet, thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure doing business as always. When I was at Onyx's base, we started talking a little bit about what we're planning to do for our respective mega bases. And I don't want to spoil anything right now, but I did a little bit of playing around in creative mode. 
and design something that I think is pretty cool, but it does require quite a bit of deep slate. Actually, deep slate, deep slate is, it doesn't require a lot of deep slate. That's the funny thing compared to all of the other materials, but even the deep slate is about 36 or 37 stacks that I'm gonna need for my whole base design build. So I ended up coming over to Onyx's shop where he sells Deep Slate and I pretty much, uh, well, I didn't buy him out, but I bought 38 stacks from him. So spreading around the wealth a little bit, he gave me 48 diamonds, so I think I could at least give him back, you know, uh, half of that. And one final thing that I want to do before I end this episode is apply that netherite ingot that I got from Onyx at the beginning of this episode. So let's just uh, click on one of these smithing tables here. And I think I decided the silky smooth pickaxe is the way to go. So let's get the silky smooth pickaxe in there. Let's get the netherite ingot in there. Subscribe to VidMC and silky smooth gets netherite. I now have myself a fancy netherite pickaxe and you should do exactly what it says and that is subscribe to VidMC because this is where I am going to end this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. We had a lot of fun this week playing on the server. We got a lot of things done including getting all of these villagers in place and so much more. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Yes, that's the way I'm supposed to end, right? The next episode! <laughs>